Gold participants from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, MC for Gold Learning. I'm chatting today with Jen McLellan about her upcoming presentation for Gold Perinatal 2016 titled Changing the Conversation about Perinatal Support for Women of Size. Welcome, Jen. Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure, and I'm so glad um, this is a topic uh, that will be presented at the, at the conference. It's such an important topic, and um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how this topic came to you of interest and how your website, plussizebirth.com, came about. Sure. Well, I'm a plus-size woman myself, and when I found out I was pregnant about seven years ago almost. I was really excited and I went online, which I feel like most of us these days do when we find out we're pregnant. Only as a plus size woman, it wasn't all joys and congratulations. I, um, I read that I would have a high risk pregnancy, develop gestational diabetes, have a cesarean birth. And I also read that I was a horrible person for wanting to become a mother as a fat woman. And while I'd been plus size most of my life, I'd always strived to be healthy. Um, and so I wasn't going to allow those messages that I read to define me or my pregnancy. But it was pretty devastating to read. I hired a doula, learned about the incredible midwifery model of care. I had a completely healthy pregnancy. I gave birth on my knees in a hospital. And it changed my life forever. Um, after I settled into motherhood, although I joke that I don't think anyone settles into motherhood, but once I started sleeping again, I really I felt compelled to tell my story. I knew I couldn't have been the first plus-size woman to ever have a healthy pregnancy. But at the time, it was hard to find images of plus-size women who are pregnant online. Um, and it was really difficult to find a lot of positive birth stories. So I started a blog, really having no idea what I was doing. And that blog soon developed into um, my website, plussizebirth.com, um, because there was just such such a need, um, such such a call for, wow, we, we people were submitting stories and photos to me every day. Uh, so I became certified as a childbirth educator, because I wanted the opportunity to not only talk to moms, but also talk to birth professionals about the reality of what the risks really are, and yet how women are treated and shamed, um, and how we can all come together to have more positive and um, healthy, happy outcomes for women and care providers. Jen, what a wonderful, um, what a wonderful blog you have, and how empowering this is for many women. And you took your uh, own journey here, you know, from a kind of uh, uh, sadness in pregnancy when you heard all these negative men messages when you were supposed to have a wonderful, beautiful pregnancy, and turned it around into like uh, this empowering, wonderful uh, message for all women to hear. This is uh, truly important for women, and and I'm glad that. Um, is one of the presentations during our conference here. Uh, you. you mentioned a little bit about what uh, what you went through during your pregnancy. Um, what do you think are the biggest concerns that plus size women have about their care during during pregnancy and birth? Sure, absolutely. Um, I, I can share that when I started that little blog, I started a Facebook page too, and it now has over a hundred and seventy eight thousand plus size women supporting one another before, during, and after pregnancy. So I, I literally interface with thousands of women on a daily basis and every day the concern of finding a size friendly care provider is addressed. The fear that a woman is going to go to her doctor's office and be shamed because of her size, because of her weight, is something that paralyzes some women. Um, some women are very afraid to get on the scale, even during their prenatal visits. They're afraid that their doctor is going to, you know, yell at them if they've gained weight. Um, it, it's, it's, it's very hard. So connecting with a size-friendly care provider is one of my biggest passions to help women. And then explaining to care providers 
what that means and what that looks like and what they can do within their work to become a size friendly care provider if they aren't already um, is a lot of what I do. That sounds absolutely wonderful, Jen. And for my last question here, what do you hope, and this leads right into it from what you just um, said as well, uh, what do you hope uh, the delegates will get uh, take away from your presentation? Absolutely. You know, I, I did just touch on that, on um, what it is to be a size-friendly care provider. But I, I feel like as a society, regardless where in the world we are right now, there is, um, you know, a bias. It's still socially acceptable to, you know, mistreat and make fun of people of size. So within my presentation, I, I really talk about what it is to be plus size and pregnant and how some women are mistreated. But more importantly, the lives and the direct impact that care providers and birth professionals of all different backgrounds can make when they treat women with compassion and dignity. It doesn't just transform births. It can transform the lives of these women, how they feel about themselves, how they feel about their bodies, and the messages they share with their children about body image and body love. So I definitely work hard to, as the title of my presentation is, changing the conversation about perinatal support or just support in general by um, health professionals for women of size. Well, thank you so much, Jen. I'm really looking forward to the presentation, changing the conversation about perinatal support for women of size. And that presentation will be held on Monday, October 24th at 1900. Check out more at goldperinatal.com. Bye for now.